This little device right here is an SD card and micro SD card holder but it's also a reader. It's always nice when companies come out with products that are slightly different from anything we've seen before. And then when they work, well, that's obviously an added benefit as well. And this does work really well. So this is actually called the CreateMate High Speed Card Reader Case. It's a bit of a mouthful. Now on the outside of this, it's all rubberized. This is a rubberized texture and it covers aluminium housing on the outside there. And on the one end, it actually says press. And if you press that down, it pops out where all the cards are actually kept. Now this is all made of plastic, it doesn't really feel cheap, it's well finished, there's not really any rough edges or anything like that, it's, it's nicely designed. Now you've got four spots for SD cards, one, two, three, four, four spots for micro SD cards, one, two, three, four, and then you actually, I'm guessing this is designed for travel as well because they've put in two nano SIM card slots and a SIM key, and that SIM key comes with this kit when you buy it. Now the way the cards go in and out is actually quite nicely thought out. There's a little rubber piece right here, which kind of creates a friction. So you have to slide the cards in, and then when it gets towards the end, they just kind of grip. And then to get them out again, you just do the reverse. And they only really grip when you, you start pushing it and then it becomes loose. So they fit in there nicely. The micro SD cards just kind of slide in there like puzzle pieces. So on the one side of the reader just here, you actually have an SD card slot, and then just below it, you have a micro SD card slot there. And obviously you need a USB-C cable to plug this in. It's actually built into the device. So you use your nail to pull this out like that, and it's just neatly wrapped around. And that's it right there. Now this is not the longest cable in the world, obviously. So if you're using it on like my Mac Studio right there, which is underneath the desk, it is just gonna hang like that, which is completely fine. It does work all right, but some people will not like that. Obviously, if you're using it on a computer, like a laptop right here, it can be on the desk right next to it. But you're not gonna be able to put this on the back and then Velcro it, because that is really not long enough. So be aware of that. But then when you wanna put this away, it just nightly, nightly, nicely fits into the slot just there, wraps around the bottom and then that tucks in like that. Now this is gonna be useless if it's not fast. This is a 3.1 USB-C cable and PGY Tech claims speeds of up to 312 megabytes a second. Now I use ProGrade V90, these cards right here. These are some of the faster cards that are out there and I wasn't able to get the 312 megabits a second, megabytes a second, but I was getting quite close and it actually performed a little bit better using this than the built-in card slot on my MacBook Pro, which is an M1 Mac. So it's one of the newer ones. So for a 14.46 gigabyte file to transfer from the SD card when it's plugged directly into this, plugged into the computer with the USB-C cable, it took 52 seconds compared with when I had this plugged directly into the MacBook Pro and it took 54 Four seconds. It's only two seconds, but still technically faster. Now I use Blackmagic speed test software as well to see what we could get. Again, with this plugged directly into the reader, plugged into my MacBook Pro via USB-C, I've got write speeds of 228.5 megabytes a second and a read speed of 236.1 megabytes a second. Now with the same test with the SD card plugged directly into the MacBook, I got write speeds of 216.1 megabytes a second and read speeds of 242 megabytes a second. Now I also tried with the micro SD card slots in there to transfer that same file, but I'll be honest, the cards that I'm using, these little SanDisk ones here, they're A1 class 10 cards, XC1s, they're not fast, they are slow. So I started transferring the file, immediately saw that it was nine minutes and like, nope, not doing it. But before I did stop that transfer, I tried stacking the transfer of that same file from the SD card at the same time the micro SD card was transferring because it obviously has slots for both on there. And of course, yes, it did slow down the transfer on this quite dramatically, so it's not gonna work. Fast speeds for both at the same time, it's either one or the other. So realistically, are you buying this for its speed for its improvement over what you currently have. Well, potentially if you have an older computer, older MacBook, older desktop, then yes, this might actually be fast to provide and you have USB-C ports that can support that speed. But realistically, no, you're not. If you have one of the newer Macs or newer computers that already does a pretty fast transfer speed from the built-in card slot. This is no worse than anything that's come out in the past couple of years in terms of speed. In actual fact, it's a little bit better as we saw there. You're buying this for the convenience of Anyone that shoots photos and videos needs a way to store extra SD cards and the added benefit that it is a card reader, a fast card reader as well. Now there is a couple of drawbacks to this, which immediately became evident to me, maybe not everyone else, but if you use CF type A cards, CF type B cards, there's no place to put these in there. Now, 
Is that a huge deal? Probably not. These are a lot more expensive. And to be honest with you, these cards do the same thing for most cameras these days. That's not gonna work in there. So bear that in mind. The other big thing that immediately stood out to me as soon as I took it out of the box is that very much looks like the clip of a GUN. I'm not gonna say it because it's like demonetized territory, but it does look like that. It's also a bit bigger and chunkier than some alternative options out there. However, you can just take this little rubber piece off and immediately solve both of those problems. Now, it's not the easiest to get off and back on again because it's rubber and it is very, very grippy, but you can take it off. And I'm assuming PGY Tech have designed it to potentially be taken off as well because their logo is printed on there. But now it doesn't look like what it did before. And it is a little bit thinner because this rubber is obviously off. So you can solve that if you need to. The issues with it looking like what it did would be very apparent if it was in your bag and you were traveling. Going through the x-ray machines at the airport, that's gonna get flagged. So there we go, that is the PGY Tech. What's it called again? It's got such a long name. Create Mate High Speed Card Reader Case. There's a link below if you're interested in it. That's all I've got for you in this one. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.